Hi guys, it's Andy the GD Script Dude with another video. And in this one, I've been putting it off for a long time to make a video about how to make pop up boxes, in particular, dialogue pop up boxes. And in this uh, script here, the circuit.gd script, you can see that I'm referencing something in the scene called a details dialogue, and I'm calling a function called open on it, passing in parameters for title and description. So if we go to the actual, the, um, the scene that I'm instantiating called details dialog, you can see it there, and it is hidden. So if we go there, 2D, look at the visual interpretation of it, and Let's uh, un let's make it visible, and you can see it is called uh, circuit details, and this is hovering our mouse here. We can see that it's a window dialog, even though that may be too small for you to see in this video. There we go. It is called a window dialog, and the window title is set as circuit details. So we could change that externally if we wanted to. And it is displaying uh, some legends, I mean, uh, labels of title and description with input areas of a, a label for the title text in one, one horizontal string and then a multi-string input box called, uh, well, look at this title, we have the label of the title, you see the orange surround there, and then the title is uh, a tech, a line edit input, and then the description is a label, and then the actual description area is a text edit area, and we arrange these within the within the window dialog, starting with a, a margin container. See the orange there that fits in there, and that gives us spacing between the edges of the window. And if we look in the custom con constants area, I've set the margins up to 10 pixels for all of the, the margins of right, top, left, and bottom. So if I was to collapse that, it becomes zero, but the right we want it to be 10. See it's collapsed down, we want that to be 10. 10 pixels. All right, and then within that, like rather, rather than having the default name margin container, long word, I just put M. And then within this, we start building out our, our uh, input content area. So I start with a vertical box, a VBox container. And within this, I'm gonna go to the custom constants again. And I'm going to make the separation between the vertical components 10 pixels. And these vertical components you will see are comprised of two vertical boxes again. There's one, there's the other. The reason for this is for design. Good design is to get these blocks of content and separate them themselves. So. You can see VBox and container had a vert vertical separation of 10 pixels. And then we got our two boxes and you can see there's this separation between them of 10 pixels. And then the boxes themselves, of the boxes of content, they are VBoxes again because there's two vertically orientated bits of content, the label and the text input area. And the same for this second box. Click that. You can see this has a label and then a, a multi-line input box, which is called a text edit input. And yeah, so we got our that one. And then the vertical separation, look at the size flags for that. Where are we going? Size flags. Oh, the custom contents, I should, constants are zero. I didn't change them. 
So they're like snugly fitting together, these two elements. These two nodes, they're like close together because I don't want to separate them. I've got my label, I've given it the title there, just the text value of title, colon, and then the next, uh, next uh, input area is just the label text align the text to the left and make it editable editable i think that's by default then the next one is the description and the the actual name of the input area i've called description and this is a text edit area and finally, the bottom at bottom is another vertical element in our overall VBox, separated by 10 pixels again, and expanded out to the full width of the, the area there. So if we look at size flags for it, um, yeah, I've just gone fill, fill. I didn't need to expand it. Sometimes you may want to click expand if you, you want to, well, a horizontal it. The horizontal dimension at least you want that to expand it out. It looks good rather than rather than it being huddled up in the corner or that side or something. So anyway, moving on to the script, we got a layout done there. What I'd like to do is to open it up is to use a function called open rather than doing like several lines of code in the, my parent script that says like open it and then fill in details I do it directly by calling an open function if we look at the circuit script there this is where we call it from in the yeah we haven't got that but anyway we call the details dialog dot open function with and we input the title and description values to it so there we go this this open function has a title by default it has nothing coming in and to fill in the details we go find a node because the script is at the root there so we gotta find our node of called title it's like quite deep down and in the code i just go find no title the other way would be to let's go through here we you can type dollar and then you can start looking for it like uh, does it work if i just type title yeah you can do like something like that control z get rid of that uh, but the thing is if you change your structure later on you've got to do that again to make it find the right place so I, I tend to use find node and it doesn't matter about the speed of this because we just popped up a window and then it's going to a few milliseconds to find it and then get its value the, the parameter of text and set it to the title value which is passed in there and we do the same with finding node of, which is called description there this description and we assign the description input from that to the text value of the description node and then finally we call the function on this window dialog to pop up centered so that's how we start it we open it up and we populate it with values and next on our button look at the button we click on that symbol there we can see that we have connected uh, on button down we did a double click that it takes us to where we connected it to and it we're on we're on our main script and it was to the on button down uh, signal handler function so what we do here we we get our title by finding the node again no optimization here we go and find it again find the title tag which is there and we get the text value we strip edges because the the user may have 
added some white space to the front or back of the, the string. We're going to strip them off and then then we check is it actually empty if so we're going to change it to the untitled value we're going to call it untitled the title is untitled unless somebody entered the user entered some text and then for the description we can find the node and we get the text and we strip off any white space from the beginning and end of the text and finally, we emit our signal, which we are calling updated. See, we call the signal updated with uh, with two parameters, the value of our title and description. And finally, we hide uh, this by making this invisible. And oh, another thing, um, if somebody is just entering title text into the the label there there's a there's a signal available check that is called text entered that means like after they've typed something in there and then they hit the enter key on the keyboard it emits this signal so that is a prompt to shut down this window rather than we can't do that in the description because that is a multiple line entry field and enter is a way to go to the next line rather than closing it down. So we can only do that on that one. So if they click enter, it emits that signal and we can capture it here. We connect it to this point that says on when it is entered, it actually passes the new text, but we're not interested because we already have it. So we, we call our function, which is already there on button down. We call that function. So we go back to there and then do this stuff again. And uh, simulating, uh, they, they press the OK button, for example. So that is how this works and then we can see it in action in the actual the actual uh, scene let's run that and here we have a untitled title and click this button here that actions the code that pops this this window up and then we can add our title you can see how it works and then Oh, let's try just hit the return button. Yeah, and it changed into that. Or I click that again, roll it up. We put some description, okay. And it didn't update, so that's a bug. <laughs> what the? So yeah, I got a bug there, it doesn't work. So our title, that works. I, oh, it doesn't. Okay, I have a bug. Anyway, I can. I'm gonna make a tutorial about this later, which has more detail with a downloadable example. And I hope you liked it. Thank you. See you again in another video.